Have you ever needed the perfect 3D embossed decal or charm to finish off a masterpiece, but none of your embellishment colors even come close to matching? Well, let's see if these silicone molds are an ingenious invention or a pain in the ass gimmick that you're going to throw across the room. I've dragged my nail bestie, who doesn't do nails, along to play and see just how easy they are or aren't to use. So let's get to it. First things first, we glove up. I'm not allergic so to any any nail products, you know. Yeah, but that's exactly the point. You put them on now so that you don't end up allergic to These any nail like products. These are like leather gloves because they are like leather gloves. <laughs> yes, I use very, very thick ones. If you've never had allergy issues, you don't have to start off with using super, super thick gloves. But holy because I know, <laughs> But because that's what I use and that's what I've got. And that's what you're getting. But yeah. It'll mean it'll prevent you from uh, developing any allergies, especially as somebody that isn't used to using nail products and never has. This will, um, you're you're more likely to end up getting stuff on yourself, right? Okay. Because you're not used to it. So. I guess that's true. Yeah. I know it'll be a little funny and weird working with no, them. No, it's but... all good. Yeah, no, it's all good. Okay. So I've got a little dotting tool for you. Okay. And... Uh, a little dotting tool for me, and here's a a little tiny brush. Okay. We're gonna start with the, uh, the embossing okay. ones just because that'll be an easier thing to start out with. Get a, kind of a feel for it. And you were doing butterflies. Yeah, this all these I think. Okay, so we have. Wait, for was you. I doing those? I don't know. No, those are your yeah, jellyfish. No, you were gonna use this one. Yeah. And, and that white one right white there. there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. And yeah, you're just going to pick the one that you want to do. And then... And you can do multiple ones. It doesn't matter. And you're going to get... I'm guessing... Again, I'm new too. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying this out for the first time. So I'm going to get like a decent amount of polish on your brush. Not crazy, but... And then you just swipe it across? Yeah, just swipe it across just like you're painting it. Just making sure... That it gets in the little divots that are there, right? And it don't worry about excess on it because we're just gonna swipe that away. I'm using this like fuzzy looking um, shimmery polish that I don't know if it's going to work because it's got little tinsels in it. <laughs> oh, okay. But we'll find it. All right. Okay, so then we're going to take this little scraper thingy here. Okay. And we're just going to go whoosh and scrape across it. Oh, shit. Shoot. I mean... That's okay. So there you go. So you're just going to take your little scraper and you're just going to scrape across the image. Wow, that's really fine. Right? Like, it's just... So, I don't know... Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably... Now, here's the other thing I think will work better. Now, I'm not sure, so we'll have to test this out and see. So, we've got alcohol here. And I have a feeling that if we have all kinds of um, excess around it, yeah. that it's going to be a pain in the butt to, like clean it away afterwards so yeah so just clean up your like edges you know what I mean clean up around it just so that you have a clean image going on mine's tough because I've got little little glitter yeah tinsels that are like kind of spreading around okay but I think it's doing all right Another swipe. Yeah, so you're just clearing yeah. up your edges. All right, and if you feel like you're good, stick it in the lamp. Okay. And we're going to put a top coat over it. Okay. I'll do mine first, and then I'll give you my top coat. Excuse me. This one has glitters in it. 
Now, I'm not really sure at this point if uh, we just leave it like that or if we should clean it up or scrape it. I don't know. So I'm going to try just making sure again I clean my edges. I don't think we scrape the top yeah. coat because then like it's just sitting on top, right? But I'm just going to go along my edges. All right. And then once that's done, we pop it in the lamp again. <gasps> oh, oh no, what happened? Your Luxa polish? Oh, what a bummer. What happened to it? It's solid. What? It's one of my favorite did colors. that happen? <gasps> I'm so The whole sad. bottle? <laughs> oh my goodness. What is that? Is that an old bottle or is it new? I mean, older, but... Not so old that, that I would it's expect it to totally go solid. totally clumped up, eh? Like it's a solid chunk yeah, inside there. Yeah, it's totally clumped up. <gasps> I'm devastated. I love these polishes. Oh, yeah. This is toast. <gasps> That's so sad. I'll have to check them out and see. I took this green. Should have took the other green. I'm going to have to check out all the other polishes in that Luxo collection and see if it's happened to all of them. Because, oh, yeah, no. they are a little bit older, like a few years old, but still. That's so sad. <laughs> I'm like, why? These colors might be too light to really show up. Oh, sorry. I was going to give it to <laughs> you. That's okay. They, I just realized like, I was doing it in front of the... it. There's still sparkles on it. There's still sparkles. Like... Okay. It's so hard to see when I'm using these really uh, faint, glittery... Yeah, kind of ones. Yeah, like I'm guessing you could leave the paint on around it, the polish on around it. Yeah. But then when the sticker comes up or the deco comes up, then you would end up trimming the edges with scissors or something, right? So I guess it just depends on which you find easier to Sorry. do. Okay. So there's so, your butterfly. So now, my butterfly. yeah, so now we're just going to take it and kind of like here, roll it out. Some, yeah, yeah. So I'll give you tweezers. Um, I got these, but they're okay. Fine. I don't know if that's okay for you. All right, I think that's okay. And yeah, so we just kind of go from a corner. <laughs> oh, mine broke. So mine worked, but it's in pieces. Hmm. Is yours in pieces too? I don't know. I still. Kind of. Okay, so I don't know what mine, happened there. Do you see what's going on with mine here? Can you see when I do this? Do you see how it's like a few yeah. pieces broke? A few pieces broke. Yes. So what I'm gonna do, rather than pulling that out right now, I'm gonna go back in with another layer of top coat. Okay. Because the, hopefully I can get the top coat to connect it all right. So I probably just didn't use enough, is my guess. Again, we're just winging these for the first time. I did see, like, um, on some of the products that I was 
buying. They had like a quick couple second tutorial on what to do and this was generally the gist of it. So I'm just going from that. Yeah, I just didn't use enough top coat it looks like. Ta-da! Did yours come off? <gasps> oh, get it in the camera! Oh, is it in the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that I couldn't cute. see. That there cute. it is. Oh, that turned out There's awesome. the butterfly. It's very fragile. Very delicate and fragile, right? But I got it out and I got it off. Look at that. Yours turned out even better than mine. See? You don't know how, you don't have to have ever played with nail products to be able to do it. You got I'm uh. gonna check yours out in a second. I'm excited. Here. I think mine because I'll it's like a butterfly chain. Butterfly over to your section. <laughs> <You'll> fly over. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing because mine's like a bunch of separated little bits. Yours looked like it was filled up a lot better than mine was. Like, like it filled well, but because the they're separated. Yeah. Like they, it doesn't seem like they connected them. So. Hopefully that uh, it does seem paper thin. Yeah, though, like but that's the idea, delicate, right? For it yeah. to be pretty much a sticker, right? Like the idea yeah. is you're kind of creating your own sticker, but okay. using your polishes so that it's gotcha. the same color as what you're working on. Because I buy all kinds of charms and decals and stickers and stuff. But half the time I go to put it together, I'm like, this is awesome. This design looks great. And then it's like, oh, the colors do not match at all. And I just can't find anything that matches well, right? So then you're like annoyed. Let me look at this. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. It's so turned out. I just did what you did yeah. and I started moving in a, like, like going, you know going like so then with this going like this like, yeah like you did good with the top coat and then started moving it around and then i lifted up an edge that i could get my thing underneath so then there's a little bit of extra top coat around here you can see yeah i saw so, that yeah super easy i would just like snip that away and there you go you've got a perfect little purple Perfect little purple uh, butterfly decal. Let me see if I have a light colored nail. We can take a look at what it looks like on there. Oh man, look at that. I just hit these. I, <laughs> see, and this is why it's important to hang on to nails that you didn't use. <laughs> so that you can be like, oh, let's try this on there and see what it looks like. These are from some set that I was working on that I went, nah, wrong color. Or it didn't work in this way or it didn't work in that way. But let's see what it looks like. And then what, it just sticks on there like that? Yeah, like you just lay it down. Or you could lay it onto like a rubber base or whatever. Or whatever, just yeah, for the sake, Just let's for the see. sake of like, of seeing it. There you go. Oh. Oh, look how pretty. Yeah. So yeah, like depending on what the decal is and what you're doing, um, then you might, uh, you might put down a rubber base to put it on. So, so I'm going to top coat my little snowflake here. Yeah, it really looks like these need that top coat is the way to go over them because I'm looking like even at this snowflake and it doesn't look like the dots are connected, right? Like you see the snowflake? Do you see how the how they're like dots, dots, dots? And there's yeah. no connecting lines, right? So yeah. to me it's like, oh, if I didn't put this top coat on, it would just come out as a whole bunch of dots <laughs> that you can't do anything with. Kind of like what was going on with my little sweater bit there. Is your leaf turning out awesome too? Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Are you Hold on it? here. 
No, I'm not Tell ripping me. it. What's I can't happening? hold anything with these leather cow oh. boring <laughs> gloves on. <laughs> Okay, well, I feel like I'm in the wild, wild west. west. <laughs> you would get used to it. I'm them. just kidding. You, yeah. would, you would totally oh, get grapple, used to it. Uh... <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, for in the beginning, I thought I can never work with how things are. <laughs> it's and cause... then you just get used to them. They're just... like, look, this is the problem. I know the yeah, tips. Yeah, yeah. You see that? You That's have... the only problem I have with the gloves. To be honest, you probably have tiny hands. I do, unfortunately. You should be using small, small, and I gave you medium. And it's so annoying. Itty bitty baby hands. But look, there you go. There's the leaf, and I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put this. Oh my back god! On. It looks like it's super cool. I can't wait to grab it and take a look. Oh, I forgot. I I didn't even see the blue snowflake that's in there because it's so <laughs> iridescent, like it's almost non-existent. That probably wasn't the best color to go with. Super pretty, but like you just you can't barely see it. Yeah, like even if I flip it over, it's barely there. So yeah, these ones, they're super shallow, so it looks like you need to use bold colors, right? You want to use super creamy, opaque colors Wow! for them to turn out. Well, that was cool. And look, that's how the leaf turned out. Oh my god, that is so cool looking. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Butterfly gonna, leaf. I'm going to steal it off you. Now. I did it. Look at you do, going way that faster than me. I did it. Me, I'm slow. Okay. And you can even leave like the top coat stuff. It's gonna be clear. And if you're gonna top coat your nail, it's probably gonna be yeah. I didn't cut over my anyway, right. I didn't cut the top coat away from my leaf. I just wanted to get it on so you all see. could see. But yeah, I think the leaf turned out good. Like oh, so I think cool. it turned out good. That is. You would have to cut some of the top coat away though. It depends, like. If you're doing a um, a base. But now at least you know what the butterflies look like. You know yeah, what the leaves are going to look like and what the snowflakes are going to look like. Okay, let's see if I got this to work now. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I made a way thicker top coat layer. And then, boing, it comes right off nice. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, yeah that, that looks worked. really good. It looks really 3D-ish, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's nice and sparkly. One thing I'm noticing, though, there's little dots, like air bubbles. Yeah. So I'll have to keep that in mind. So it's a good idea, maybe, to, when you put it in, if it's a little bit thicker of a hole, then to do, like, the tap, 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 tap. Yeah. For the air bubbles to kind of pop out of there. Because there's a couple little air bubbles in there, but not a big deal. Come on. But, yeah, that butterfly. turned into a really cool... Really cool little sticker decal. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to use this on this set of nails that I uh, I had an idea for. With some cool sweater fuzzy polish things. So far, I would say these guys here, not gimmicky. These are like really working. They're a little bit fussy. But I mean... Really, if you're um, here's a purple snowflake. If you if you're like me and you really obsess over things, matchy matchy matchy, <laughs> all your colors to be like exactly right, then uh, you're gonna love doing it this way because I am obsessed with using stickers and stuff, but so often. I get frustrated because with my designs because they don't match, right? Yeah. The colors are off. And I mean, I have zillions of colors. So a lot of times I'll pick out my, I'll go backwards. So I'll pick out my stickers first for whatever theme I want. Say I'm doing beach nails and I'll pick out my stickers and then I'll go find my polishes that match those sticker colors. Yeah. Right. But not everybody has the option of doing it that way because they don't have a thousand different colors of polish that they can choose from to make it perfect or like not perfect but to make it try and match as well as they can so this plus you don't run out right like you put your initial investment in of a few dollars 
like most of these molds cost basically the same amount as a pack of stickers or maybe two packs of the stickers right yeah and then they're not ever going to run out you're just going to keep using and using them I'm finding a hard time getting the butterfly to stick down. Did you? Okay, so you put your base coat down? Yeah. Okay, cure it first. Oh, okay. Yeah. That Otherwise, it's going to be um, like slippery, slimy. Oh, take your decals off. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Just... Oh, you got to cure it first. Yeah, because then what's going to happen, your base coat here. So here's a tip, okay? Because you're now you have base coat on those, yep. right? Yeah. So put them on here. Because what happens now, and again, this is just from an allergy perspective, is that you now transferred um, polish onto here and you can't okay. see it, right? You're not going to be able to see it. Yeah. So if, say you weren't wearing gloves and you put your hand down there and touched it, well, then now it's transferred onto your skin, even though you didn't realize it and you're not like, it's clear and you're not um painting it on yourself or you know what I mean yeah that's where a lot of transfer happens that people don't realize they're like oh but I don't ever get polish on myself it's like yeah well there's little things like that where you don't really realize when you're doing it right it's just smoothing it back out yeah so yeah once it's all smooth messed pop it, it back all in. up no no there go. Hmm. all right so now I'm gonna and then I stick them on and then, then you stick them on yep and you're gonna stick them on and you're gonna try and like mold them form holy them over. smokes is that your yeah so there's one snowflake oh, okay and then here's the other one yeah this one came out too oh there you go oh that looks easier to see now that yeah it's, uh, yeah now that it's out a lot it's still easier. super 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 clear like super transparent but you okay baby girl it's looking rough <laughs> like it would be a very mild effect but if you put it on there like that, it would still be like you can, you can still, still see, see it. it. It's like, shimmery iridescent, yeah. right? Yeah, I like that. That's gonna be cool. Okay, is thirty seconds enough. Yeah, for yeah, this? that's enough for that. So now, don't touch the base with your gloves, but right. it's gonna have a little bit of a now stickiness stick to it. Now stick them on. Yep. All now right. you can stick those decals on. And it looks like as you get more used to this, like again, this is our first shot at it, you'll kind of get a feel for how much top coat to put on. Like these ones right now, I'm feeling like, eh, I kind of put them a little thick, right? The top coat's a little thick on them. So it's making them a little more rigid. Yeah. And so you want them to kind of be as thin as possible. Well, no, not necessarily. Some people might want them really thick and 3D looking. So there is that. But... For the ease of getting them down really easily and well on your nail, you might want them to be on the thinner side. Yeah, that might look really cool. I'm going to try that. Yeah, so you want to get them down as well as you can on the corners and such. Are they staying down? They are a lot better, except this awesome. one corner there. Yeah, I'm getting Sometimes it. Sometimes you get ones. And in that case, like say you were, we're just doing this for fun, but yeah. say you were doing it for a set, then what you would typically do is um, use like a flash cure, like this little guy here. Yeah. This little, or, or one of these little flash cure lights, and you would hold it down and just give it a quick little flash cure, right? So yeah. we can do that. So hold down the troublesome corner. Where's the corner that's giving you trouble? Right here. So hold it down. You're going to the go into the camera. Oh, sorry. No, 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 that's okay. Okay. So you're gonna hold down that corner, and then I'm just gonna give it a little quick flash. And what that's gonna do is it's just going to hold that corner a bit better. So now if I take it away, is it lifting? No, it's held. The there you go. There, yeah. So that's not properly cured, but that's enough that it's going to hold that corner in place so that once you do put it in, it... Uh... All right. So now what do I do? Now you stick it in the lamp. Okay. Stick it in the lamp. Do I press? Oh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. 
and then you would go over it with another layer of base. Okay. Because base is going to help it stick better. Some people would go right in straight up with a top coat, but the top coat doesn't really secure it as well. The top coat is just for, oops, final coverage. Why am I so slippery here? I feel like I'm all oiled up. Now I got a bunch of crud going on. Is she laying down? She's kind of, know. sort of. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Aw. Making a lot of noises. My poor baby got spayed yesterday, so she's next to us on a pillow, <laughs> feeling not so well. No, she's not feeling good. <laughs> not at all. But she's a trooper. Okay. Okay, I'll give this to you in just a yep. second. It's really slippery in my gloves for some reason. And try and get it like all up in the corners and the edges, you know what I mean? Like the yeah. with the base, you're trying to like kind of seal it in in all those corners. And I used to beat myself up for saving all my random nails that why uh, I didn't keep. Cause I'm like, well, what am I gonna do with them? They're so stupid. Why don't I just toss them out? Why do I gotta be such a hoarder? It's like, oh yeah, because of this. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't have to go painting a nail just to get something to. Uh, I kind of closed it with. just so you know. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Yeah, mine's really sticking up on the edges. That's the other thing. This this particular flashy flashy has a goo gooey oh, on the end. <laughs> it's yeah. got a stamper on the end. So if you're doing something like this, where it's like all lifted up all yeah, over the place. Yeah, that's cool. And it's not you can just laying down flat down. for me. Yeah, you just get in there and you squish it in. Yeah, no, that's good. And it's going to squish it in place. And start curing it. There, look at that! It's like completely flat yep. on there. I mean, it's a 3D, um, 3D design, but it didn't... Uh, there's no corners lifted up on it. Yay! Yeah. The only thing I find with doing this is like it shifted. Like I wanted it over on the side. Oh, it shifted. it shifted it into the middle, right? So to me, that's not ideal. I'm like, no, I wanted it over here. But given the, you know, I was just doing it for a quick yeah. design thing. Okay. So okay. put that in there to finish curing. So now, and your base coat's all cured. Yeah. Yeah. So now you would just put a top, top coat. coat on. I'll give you a top coat to hit that base. And if you have an area where if it went over the edge too far, yeah, it right? Went over the edge a little no, no, this one's okay, yeah. but say it went over like way too much. Yeah. Then you would just, you know, you can just take a really coarse file. This one isn't, but a coarse file. And you would just file yeah. off the edge so it naturally goes off the edge of the nail. And then, yeah. And you got a cool 3D embellishment. So there. I put a top coat and then I cure it again. Is yep. that what's happening yep. here? Right. Sure do. Me, I'm behind. I'm still on my base coat. I. End up getting glitter in all my new bottles. I'm like, okay, this one is only for solid colors. And then one day I grab it and I forget and I use it over glitter. <laughs> and then it ruins it. And then I have to assign that one to glitter. And so usually when the bottles, by the time it's like, I don't know, halfway gone, it ends up becoming a glitter bottle. But lately I've been doing so good with it that because I put stickers on all of my things. I've been doing good and I haven't been mixing them as much. So I'm getting to the end of my glitter ones. And I use glitter stuff more often than not, or chrome or pigment or something that's gonna make a mess in there. Okay, so this is matte. Let's see what happens. And then what I would do with this is just go in with if I was doing this for a set, I would go in and do it carefully with a detail brush. But I'm just testing this. Yeah, I kind of lost the kind of lost the image on this one. Really, eh? Yeah. Well, it's because so what I were used you just such, doing there? I used such a like it's such a clear iridescent um polish that when I very first put it on over top of matte it turned out really good it looked good yeah but then I had to <clears throat> base coat it in right and then it kind of I don't know it lost its 
definition kind of thing. And so now it's just looking like a crystally blob on there. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's why so many times I'm working on something. I'm like, oh, this is great. Ah, uh, nah, me, me. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work like I'd hoped. So, okay. So you're working on yes, a rose, I'm right? i do this. So now is where we're, our little tools are going to come into play. Okay. Right? Because these ones are much deeper. So... If you need your brush to sit somewhere, you got this for putting your brush on if you need okay. it. Okay. All right. So do we just use the dotting tool and dot in it? Like, yep. you know? Yeah. Like so that's exactly basically the idea. Right now? And then if you want to kind of move stuff around in it, you might find it, you might find it easier with the tiny, tiny brush, but you might not. You know what? Uh, I'm going to do my leaves and my stem first, I think. Yeah, that might be the way to go. And so what you're going to do is just, now we're using like jelly polishes, more transparent yeah. polishes, just so that, um, yeah, that snowflake lost, lost all definition. It just looks like blobs now. That's okay. Learn, live and learn. So yeah, you want to go, the, the jelly polish is going to cure through much better. It will give it like a see-through look for our designs, but that's okay. And if we were using solid ones, we would have to go really slowly and do like layer by layer by layer, which takes forever. So we won't do it that way. I'm going to do this little guy here, hmm. I think. They are, I'm not going to lie, they are... Finicky as heck. They're a little different. My eyes aren't the best either, so I'm trying to figure out... Because they're 3D, I'm having a hard time just distinguishing where the rose starts and the stem stops. Yep, I can see that. It is something that I think, like, it's going to take, like, practice and getting used to and being like, okay, how do you get things where you want them? And I like this little dotting tool, though. This is, this is perfect for this. Right? Yeah, like, I was... Trying it with brushes and, I mean, you can use paint and, and, or like paint brush, brushes to get in there, but for some of the deeper cavities, like this big jelly yeah. part, it does way better if it's, I find it worked easier in some places with the dotting tool. Okay, so then once you have a little bit in there that you're kind of like, hmm, maybe this is okay, then I found kind of tapping it to get it right in the holes. So it's not, um, there's no air bubbles. I'm gonna put some of that dark green in it. So that's just kind of a little bit that I've done in my first Yeah, color. I'm going to just done a little color bit too. After. So we'll cure that See what it looks like this way. Too. Yeah, flip it over and you can see in the back. Yeah. You can see if it's filling in the right sections or if you need some more somewhere else. Or Before I here, cure it, I want to get some of this dark green in there. Here, I'll give you a palette to make it easier for you to... You can put a blob of polish on it. So from a beginner's point of view, those 3D embossed decals were quite easy, right? Yes, they were. Yeah, I've never used, I've never done anything like this with nails, not even <laughs> this. So like, so, yeah, this stuff's pretty... Now these, these easy. ones, these 3D charms, I don't know, they might be a little more tricky. Yeah, these might be a little more tricky, but... Oh, these Linares polishes are so pretty, I'm so glad Yeah. I so wasn't sure when I was picking them out, but I'm really glad I did. Okay. Now, the interesting thing about these molds is I'm not sure if they expect you to fill it hmm. as a nail. Yeah, I... Because I'm noticing, like, I just filled in, like, some of the lines are, like, barely a line. So I'm like, oh, I went all over the edge, like a kid doing a bad so what you think picture. these are supposed to be nails like you're supposed to be making nails with these yeah i don't know like i don't 
I don't really Well, think we're going to so, try the charm and yeah. then we're going to have to see if it works or not because I'm just looking at it going, are they I was puzzled, you to keep putting the nail? I was yeah. puzzled onto why it's like shaped like a nail and build everything. Build a nail inside. My thinking initially was like, oh, so that you get your rounded shape. Yeah. For for it to fit onto the nail much better, right? Cuz it's a 3D embellishment. And it's not going to have the same bend that those um, sticker deckle things that we just did will. So you have to have it a little more shaped. You could have flat back, but flat backs, uh, charms, it just sticks up on all the edges, right? And then you have stuff where it's getting caught and you have to like really fill it in. It makes it really thick and kind of makes your nails super chonky. Super chonky, which some people don't mind at all, but others are like, neat. For me, I don't like a super chonky nail. Okay, so I'm going to clean these lines up like really close. So I could see that making these could take forever. Yeah. Right? This could be a really slow, annoying process. But if you're working on something really awesome... then like I sure don't know if well I don't know once you have a lot of practice maybe you'd be a lot quicker at them but I don't know if I'd be doing this like on all 10 nails right yeah or even like five or something or if you, I do like one or two accents. <laughs> I'm going to switch to trying a brush. Because I really feel like I got a paint in here. Deep concentration. <laughs> yeah, because it's like. You gotta fill the crevices. I think because of all the levels, they would be neat to use with multiple colors. Like I was thinking with the rose, you could probably get two colors. Like Inside I did it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did two colors with the stem. We'll see how that goes. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do more on the stem. Yeah, like look at this one. I'm trying to do. Yeah, like it's hard to tell because they're these like aurora kind of colors, yeah. right? But there's a shift in there. I've got like a blue, a green, and then this weird. Um, I don't know what color to yeah. call it. It's a really weird shifty kind of color. Okay. Let's... Yeah, like these ones, I could see taking. Quite a bit more practice than the yeah than the uh, 3D decals there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to do the go in with the red, and then I'm gonna fix up the stem. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Again, I pick colors that are going to be hard to see, but... I always well, gotta, I always got to be difficult. That's why I'm thinking for the rose, a lighter color and a darker color would be nice because you put the lighter color in first and then the... Because yeah, yeah, this is going to be highlights. a beautiful rose, but it's going to be... A solid Garnet color, red. Yeah. like it's gonna be really dark. Yeah, face. I wonder though if the if the light went in first, if the dark would just completely overpower it, yeah, right? And then you wouldn't see it; it would just get have, drowned out. You're gonna have to try it. I know. You're gonna have to try it out. That's what these things are. It's all so much trial and error. Like, think and... of what you've done there so far. What if you put a darker purple on the back? That would probably pop the light crystally yeah, colors maybe. you have in there maybe I'll f like do you know I'm, what i'm trying yeah. to say like yeah i think i do but vice versa if you had the black filling in the lines and then you put like a crystally white 
it, it would make, pop yeah. out the dark colors. Now, another, my next question is, are we filling this up? Like, are we filling it? Because, like, yeah, so yeah you want it filled see. up? Yeah, yeah, let's see how well, much I've done so far. So now that your color is all in, I think the best thing to do is fill it with um, a clear. I just can't get over how amazing they look. <laughs> like the mold itself, right? When you flip it upside down, you're like, wow, that looks so cool. So and pretty inside there. How much of this yep. do I fill so, so just kind of fill in the okay. The I think big I got it. Part, yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, doesn't have to be like full up the whole nail. You just yeah. want to make gonna sure put that this drop in there, yeah. and then I'm gonna squiggle Switch it around. around. Yeah, anywhere that looks like it's uh, missing, right? Got to just fill in those chunks, and I filled her up with the clear. And we're going to have to see how she goes. I'm just spreading it out to the little mm -hmm. petals that are over here that are going to need. All right, pop her in. Pop her in. I think mine's ready too. God, I feel like I might just endlessly play with these things. <laughs> You could make a lot of stuff, you know, if you get bored, you should just mess Look around and make some charms and then you have them readily. Check this one. These ones ready. are weird. Look at, there's a small hole. That's. And then it opens up. These are the bigger... ones that are like the epoxy yeah. that I was like, I wonder how those are going to work. Yeah. But Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like, I wonder. Okay. Not that. Oh, wow. If I used like a. I wonder what this says on the side, because you could, like, make little Chinese letters. Characters, yeah, characters yeah. Too. And we put that on, and it says, it says like, something not good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sure it doesn't or, say or anything even too just, bad, yeah, but... Or even just, like, product number 24. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why is that on yeah. your nails? <laughs> oh, you know, it's just... Uh, or they Chinese know characters. they know that someone's going to do that, so they put, like... Or they may have put... Yeah, I may say, like, peace and love or something, right? Yeah. We have no idea. I, uh... I'd have to find somebody to tell me what do these characters mean? Are they any good? All right, keys? dude. Okay. Should yeah. I cure it more? Or I don't know. I'm scared. What do we do with it? <laughs> um. Do I pop her out? Yeah, you would start popping out. Do Let's I? Say, do I? Should I cure it more? I go, don't know. Make sure you go in camera and pop that baby out. Oh Let's yeah, see here. What it's gonna look like? Okay. We want to see. see that. We want to see that. <gasps> Is it popping? It's popping. Hold yeah. On. Oh my god, it's popping. It okay. Exciting? It's kind of exciting. Yeah. Hold on here. I feel like we're gonna end up having like charm days. Where is it? Oh that. my god. This, see what kind of cool charms we can make. Oh, <gasps> Dawn. Is it too crazy? <laughs> hold on. I gotta flip it over. It keeps going on that side for me for some reason. Okay, we need it on white. It's hard to see. Okay, the black. here, let's, hold on, hold on, let's, hold let's, on. Let's, 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 uh, here, let me give you a piece of paper towel. We, okay, we're gonna have to, we're, you, whoever, you're gonna have to work at it. Because this ain't the best charm. But still, let's see what that But like. it's still kind of cool. Okay. Let's it's still kind of cool. That's really cool. Right? Yeah. You just, like, see how it doesn't look... Yeah. necessarily crisp but but it's still there and it's really cool like the yeah like it's all about i think the biggest part about it will be figuring out how to layer the colors right yeah so that we end up with being able to see highlights and low lights and stuff without covering over it all right because you had the right idea there like it's like the leaves are way easier to tell and to see but the the rose ended up being like a dark like you said, a dark garnet. And like, yeah, you know what? The two colors for the leaves. I don't know if that's what you just said. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was looking. That worked out really good. You could it see did. the light yeah. and dark. So yeah. yeah that's yeah. really cool. Like, I wonder if it went. I'm curious what it would look like if it went onto a clear nail. Let's see. I just want to see, like, if the jelly is see-through, if we just kind of place it on there. If it gets. Oh, I think it's still pretty dark, eh? But still, like, oh! That's Here, I'm awesome. gonna try to. 
Wow, first first time for somebody that has never ever look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. And it's even sticking on you there. You're did. moving it up and ah, and yeah. look, the curve works. That is so cool. The curve works. Yeah, right? It's yeah. got that curve so that it's not sticking straight up like uh, on the nail. You've got it curved around so the edges. So if you can just get the color ah, palette, the that. colors down. Because, like, yeah, the it's so dark red, it almost looks black. That's so so you would have but to, yeah, to just, figure out how to do the yeah, highlights and yeah. lowlights. So that, and I think you would put the dark in first in just little kind of areas and then fill in the background with but a But that color. looks nice. That's super awesome. That looks really yeah. great. Look at that. I'm so Look impressed. at that. Heck. I'm so impressed. Awesome. I'm going to send Ryan this one, too. <laughs> like, look at, I sent him the other one. Look I was like, look at the nail I just made. Look at what I'm making. Yeah, definitely not gimmicky. I would say from how yours just went off that these are really cool and so much fun. I mean, it takes doing nails to a whole new level because now you're really just playing with making uh, like resin mold stuff and kind of takes away from doing nails themselves. No, but they're charms for nails. I know. I could just see myself like playing with these all the time though. And not actually. Okay, so what did I say? Put dark in? I want to try something with this really quick. If I use like a SV base. I really think syrup gels will make such a difference on these. But it's so funny because I like haven't swatched my syrup gels yet. I have so many. And uh, this is going to get me swatching. Because I have not done swatches for them. Or I've done just a couple. Just a handful. So, okay. I'm going to... He doesn't care. Aww. <laughs> he doesn't care. That's okay. That's a bugger. That's okay. I don't care. He doesn't care about much. <laughs> it's not Basically like it's himself. Yet. Can you feel me, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to keep that in. <laughs> yeah. Because we can feel you. God. Okay, soiree. And this one here is... Women are the most delicious. precious people on the planet. <laughs> Putting up with all this freaking bull crap. That's right. That's part of our existence, eh? Jeez. 06 and soiree. Soiree. You have to stick around for my jellyfish reveal. Yeah, I, I want to see the jellyfish. Okay, I got to cure it on that. This is so first. cute, though. But now I'm all like getting into this little, like, three, like, super yeah. weird flower like, that's look inside at all there. Look at the nails I made today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like you, making stuff. I bet you weren't expecting that, were you? I wasn't sure what I was expecting, to be <laughs> honest. I wasn't expecting for it to be that smooth, I guess. It was smooth enough to just chest it out, you know? Yeah. I thought, I'm like, I have a feeling these are really, like, beginner friendly. Like, really, like, yeah, practice is a good thing. Yeah. You'll get better at, you know, keeping it in the lines and getting colors sorted and whatever. So I did have that thinking, but I was like, I bet you we can still pull it off. Even for somebody that has never played with nail products at all. She's my nail bestie for getting nails on. <laughs> yeah, I get looking the nails at on, nails but doing and for nails. helping pick stuff for nails. Yeah. But not a nail doer. No, not a nail doer. But yeah. this makes me think I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not gonna because I don't have uh I don't have my could, nail besties bank. You could always, <laughs> you could always come over and play. Come over and play. Yeah, see, like, if you just kind of paint in there, and it's going to do, like, and especially with the syrup gels, I think, because they will blend together so much nicer. Yeah. Right? And be so much more um, natural looking than if you got solid colors that are trying to kind of compete. Yeah, see, so we look at how I've kind of highlighted the edges. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right? yeah, I so see then, that. So what did that's you, a darker oh, okay. color, so I kind of smudged it in there as a darker color for the, like, highlights kind of yeah. thing for the edges. This one's a base, a rubber base, so I don't know how well it's going to work, but 
I don't have any other uh, kind of syrupy colors swatched at the moment. So just really quick. Let's see. I don't know if I would have to cure that first or if I start adding the other color, if it's just going to kind of like all smidge it together. Yeah, you got to really shove that color in there, though. Yeah, that, yeah. That'll be tough. But to make sure there's so many the variations spots. you could do, like... I fucking... I think I love these. Did I you, think I got it. Did you put obsession. the clear coat in there? Yeah. So, okay, so you're pulling it out now? We're, we're pulling out a jelly. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got with our jellyfish I here. just... I just did this until I seen it lift really stretchy. good, and then I took my tweezers and just took it out. Give it a good, like, stretchy stretch. Yeah. Out. You have to see it lifting out. Look, look, oh, it's yeah. lifting. Ah! Okay. Are we done? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Jelly! Ah! Let's see what this jelly... Oh, my God. I'm obsessed with jellyfish. Here. Where's, where's your... Where, yeah. Here, hold on. Hold Can on. Let me get the rose off. The slider yeah, right off. Stay as well as yours does, but... Oh, my goodness. It is cool. I need to see it more ah, too. I, I can't. I need to see it more ah, from my friends. And I just, I need to get. Oh, there's a hole. Oh my god, that's so funny. So because I didn't fix, like I didn't um, tap it well yeah. enough. There's a. Oh, so. Oh, let's see, get this one. Come on, get it focused. There's a little. A little divot hole is there here. yeah but that's okay like i'm only noticing because i'm flipping it i'm like oh there's like a hole in there because i guess the the polish didn't get right down inside but there we go check that out <gasps> that's freaking wild eh? oh my. that looks so neat that looks so neat oh that does look neat where are you there you go sorry i'm terrible with the phone like but oh, yeah that's worry. what it looks like Cool, eh? Yeah. That's cool. I'm very excited. Yeah, you gotta make me some dead jellyfish nails. Okay, some of these flowers are gonna be really awesome. I don't know how to I'm having a hard time shoving it inside there though. Ooh. So you gotta really shove it into the innards. That's neat, eh? Yeah, it's neat. That turned out super neat. It did turn out super neat. Oh my goodness. That is just beyond cool. I am so excited. So excited. For 3D jellyfishes. Okay, I'm going to just see what this looks okay, like. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it popped out very yeah, easily. Yeah, look at that, eh? So I didn't even do the whole, like, No, you just did the flower. Image, whatever, but. Ooh, does it, does it look nice? It looks nice from here. And even you could just use it just like that. Like, you wouldn't even have to Put do it the on that entire... pink nail right there. Looks like it. Oh, or that lavender purple one. See how you can see the purple? Look at that. It is so tiny though. I have to get used finicky. to being like tiny things. I'm just using this because it's really light. Wow, there you go. Come on, stay there. Wow. It's so tiny I can't get it to focus. Oh, there we go. Right? That is so cool. Yeah, I see. And then you do have a little bit of different colors in there, right? Isn't that cute? There you are, I found you. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on, there. Yeah, it's hard to get it to find it and then to focus it in. Wow. Isn't that cute? Just think. And then if i done the whole, like, little design yeah. on your nail, that would be so freaking pretty. On, like, a, a shimmery white kind of background nail. Or Oh, my gosh. And, you know, I just pressed down on this. And it's very sturdy. Yeah. That is so cool. It's not so delicate that it's gonna break. Snap or anything. But yeah, man. Yeah, you had some good stuff going on today. That's so cool, I'm ready. I really like how this. Oh yeah, your jellyfish. Don't forget flower. about your jellyfish. Damn. 
Look at all your pretty creations. Yeah, I can see myself just playing with this. <laughs> Why is everything curing? I must, that light must be too bright coming out because all my stuff cured everywhere. I cured on my dotting tool. I cured on my fucking palettes. Uh, I cured everywhere. There you I think go. that's all the little goodies we yeah. need. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. That was it so fun. That is cool. All right. So, final result. Love these. Love these. Love these. Love these. I cannot wait. To keep playing with more little molds. I just wish all of them came with this little. Yeah, the little box. That is awesome. Usually I don't find that stuff matters, but I can probably find these on like AliExpress and to for putting the rest of them in because they're sticky, right? These, yeah. These silicone molds are kind of sticky. So yeah, that was a blast. Thank you. Thank you for oh, joining wow. me. And thank you everybody for watching us. Thank you. Have so much fun. And enjoy these silicone molds, and I highly recommend them. And even carry as a beginner. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Out, uh, Very easy to use. Turned out some stuff that did better than mine. Mm. So anybody can use them. So once again, thanks so much for being here and watching, guys. And don't forget to love your nails. Mm.